So, hi everyone. My name is Elder Brian Angelo S. Ledesma from BE's ECE 3B. And this is my presentation on ECE 27 performance test number 11. So, in this video presentation, we will talk about T flip flop or toggle flip flop. The T and T flip flop stands for toggle. A clock flip flop whose output toggles. The device acts as a divide by two counter since two active transitions of the clock signals generate one active transitions of the output. It can be considered as being equivalent to a JK flip-flop whose J and K inputs are held at logic 1. For an example, when we toggle a light switch, we are changing from one state on or off to the other state off or on. This is equivalent to what happens when we provide a logic high input to a T flip flop. If the output is currently logic high, it changes to logic low. If it is currently logic low, it changes to logic high. A logic low input causes the T flip flop to maintain its current output state. So below is the SR or JK flip flop can be modified and torn into a T flip flop by just adding two end gates. So this is the SR flip flop. We just add two end gates to make it as a T flip flop. So the throw table of a T flip flop is that if you toggle zero, the present state is zero, and the next state is zero also. If you toggle zero again. The present state is 1 and the next state is 1. If you toggle 1, the present state is 0 and the next state is 1. If you toggle again 1, present state is 1 and the next state is 0. So this is the true table of a T flip flop. So next, the T flip flop is designed by passing at the end gates output as input to the NOR gate of the SR flip-flop. The inputs of the end gates, the present output of the state Q, and its complement Q are sent back to each end gate. The toggle input is passed to the end gates as input. These gates are connected to the clock or cell key signal. In the T flip-flop, a pulse train of narrow trigger triggers are pass as the toggle input, which changes the flip-flop output state. The circuit diagram of the T flip-flop using the SR flip-flop is given below. So this is the T flip-flop using SR flip-flop. And this is the another design for um, T flip-flop using SR flip-flop. So the inside of this device is um, the same with this NOR gate to nor gate just uh, we just um add two and gates to make it as a t flip flop the process is even easier if you're starting with a jk flip flop no additional gates are required all you need is to do is connect the same input signal to the both input pins so this is done example of uh, GK flip flop. So this is a NAND gate. So NAND gates to NAND gates and to NAND gates equals to four NAND gates we are using. So this is the another type of or the inside of a T flip flop or in the in the in this case we use GK to make it a T. So we will try to simulate a uh, TP flap to our simulator, which is the electronic workbench. So, this is my design for our TP flap. So, if we base on the true table, if we toggle or if we, if we toggle um, the switch, so we press the toggle. Or we just on. We press the toggle. So and on the clock. Okay. 
and we press the press present and if we toggle it stays to the present output if we um switch the clock to high so we turn up rather we turn the clock to low or logic zero so it toggles every time the clock turns to zero or low it toggles so if we turn the clock low and we toggle or we switch the toggle so it is just stay to the present um output if we turn the clock to high and if we toggle it stays in the present but if we turn the clock to low to high it toggles so that's the basic function of dplp and that's the end of my presentation thank you for watching